What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo 8 Box Case Break Pick Your Tunes number 9. And again, guys, here we go. So I know it's been taking a long time to fill, but we added some free spots to the filler, and that definitely did help. So there you go, everybody here in the break. Let's go, let's go. And then Terry got Last Spot Mojo. Last Spot Mojo. What's up, Logan? That's it, baby. One more day of work and December's done. So you're going to be off for, for a week. Da, 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 da. How are you done with December then, Logan? That doesn't make sense. You mean maybe Christmas is over? Yeah, that's what you meant to say. Yeah, that's true, actually. I mean, there'll be people like me that order too late and it's not going to get here in time, so... Probably have to still worry about it for a few days, right? That would be wild if I got a Blake Mitchell Super. Uh, I think we've done 12 so far, Terry. So at least 8. And then right now on the website there's like 4 promos on there. So we're more, definitely more than halfway there. But with these other releases, with this, with this, with the, with all these other releases these last like 2 weeks, you know, not to say we haven't been selling mixtures, but it's kind of slowed down now. People having to pick and choose, especially during this time, so. But yeah, no, it's moving. I mean, it, there's definitely a possibility it still sells before the end of the end of the new year. Or end of the year, I should say. By the new year, but that'll be entirely up to you guys, right? A nice green Jacob Gonzalez to 99. True green. Chase Davis.
And a green Braden Taylor. There you go. Terry lost by Mojo. Out of 99 draft pick prospects. 19th overall pick. So how is the baseball world uh, reacting today after the Yamamoto signing? Is everybody finally calmed down already? Still hating on the Dodgers? Me and Pizzle were going at it yesterday really good. It is, man. I, I do agree with that, but I think that's all was made possible by Otani. I mean, really have to thank him. Noble Meyer, that's their first round pick. Um, I mean, if Otani doesn't defer that money, there's not all this extra money to spend. So, like, I always tell people, don't be upset at the Dodgers. Be upset at Otani being such a freaking stallion of a man and saying, I'll just get paid in 10 years from you guys. Use all this extra money. To sign players in the next 10 years. So we can win some championships. Seth Keener. Oh uh, yeah. I mean I'm I'm not, not I'm not an expert either. I mean I. Just know that he. Uh, he's won basically like this Cy Young. For the last couple years in the Japan League. And he's also. Was pretty good in the World Baseball Classic. Dylan Campbell. But. I mean obviously I still think it's always a big risk. Right, I mean, to dish out that much money to a player that's never played in the MLB, pretty wild. But, obviously, not the Dodgers are the only dumb ones to want to pay him, right? I mean, everybody wanted to pay him. Jaden Ham, so, everybody's agreeing. But, yeah, I mean, I, I just think that's one of the things that, besides, I mean, obviously, getting on is great, but I think the Dodgers' real problem was in the bullpen, so. Now that you have him in there... You trade for Glass now, sign him long term. You know. Otani, I mean, we'll be back to pitching somewhat next year. You know, to an extent, maybe. I don't know if he'll be a full time starter again, but definitely still be pitching somewhat. Brock Radenberg, but they still have just a little bit more money to spend if they want to, really. Just a little bit more to spend. Probably have like an extra 100 million or so. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. Well, that's the hope. On paper, we won't, right? But obviously, we don't know how bad we don't know how good or bad it's going to be with injuries. So, on paper, yeah, if nobody gets injured, we're fine, right? But that was kind of the problem last year. There's just so much injuries that it changed the whole dynamic. All right, it's only one autograph so far. All right, so there should be two autos over here then, I think. Ramirez, Kephas. And Camp Alderman. There you go. Out of 250. <laughs> I don't think so, man, Logan. I mean, I think it all depends on the owner, really, if your owner wants to spend. But, again, this goes back to just go tell all these bigger free agents, are you willing to defer your money like Otani did? And I guarantee you they're going to say no. <laughs> There's not many people that will actually defer their money. And honestly, Tristan, that's what I'm saying, man. I think at some point... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure he still wants to be a full-time pitcher, but starter, but at some point, just, yeah, just give up the full-time, give up the starting pitching job and just be a closer or, or relief pitcher, right? Pitch one or two innings, a, a, you know, whenever you want to pitch, and I think that'll preserve your arm for a very long time. I mean, we know that he can do it for a few years in a row, right? I mean, he basically did it for a few years in a row until up in this last season, so... If that's the case, that means the Dodgers are going to have a few more years of him pitching full-time before potentially another injury happens. Noble Meyer. Man, this was all a freaking Marlins box. Look at this. Jesus. Marlins. 
going to Triss. But yeah, I mean, at that point, I think he should just decide to just kind of be a relief pitcher slash closer. But yeah, I, honestly, that's the thing. It may look like the Dodgers are doing all this bad stuff, but it's just Otani is the reason why this is even possible. He decided that his, you know, $40, 50000000 million he gets in endorsements a year is more than enough for him for the next 10 years and doesn't need $68 million more a year to play for the Dodgers. All right, there you go. First box. Sammy Bosalo to 50 for the Orioles. Orioles is Neil. I mean, Angels had Otani and Trout and didn't make the playoffs. At the end of the day, there is definitely no guarantee that the Dodgers are going to win multiple World Series or even one World Series because a lot of shit can happen that can go wrong, man. Injuries, cold bats, you know, just very unlucky really sometimes. But I think uh, they should definitely still be competitive. Like, I was going out with Pizzle on Facebook yesterday, right? We were just chit-chatting, and... Pizzle, at the end of the day, was just trying to be a... He was kind of being obnoxious, right? He knew it. Every time I shut him up, he's like, Ah, you guys are gonna choke! You know, just trying to change it, you know? But, you know, <laughs> he was over here saying that... He thinks all these moves the Dodgers are making is more for them to make more money back. That they don't really want to win. I was like, are you serious right now? You don't think that they... Dished out all this money to all these players because they don't want to win and all they care is to make money. I was like, they're going to make money regardless of whoever's on the Dodgers. Dodger fans are passionate, you know. People are still going to buy merch, go to the games, you know, uh, buy buy jerseys and, and memorabilia. I mean, that was never that's never been a problem. But that's the thing. It's just like, if this doesn't show you that they want to win more than anything, then I, 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 you're, just, you're just being a little obnoxious now. Kephas. Well, they definitely can, Terry. But I don't think they're going to sell it in the next 10 years, though. Because if they do, Otani can, uh, I think, opt out, if that's the case. And then I think Friedman's contract is... They, uh, if Friedman gets fired or leaves, then that means Otani can leave too. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure every 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 uh, stadium, uh, there's a lot of fans that end up leaving a little early, depending on whether or not it's a weekday or. The game is boring, per se, or maybe they're losing a lot, maybe they're winning by a lot, but... I mean, if you go look at ticket sales and attendance, I mean, the Dodgers are always, like, in the top three, top five. All the time. So, I mean, like I said, it's... Regardless of who, what Dodger team has been dished out out there, man, I mean, the Dodger fans have always been uh, really good at supporting their team, really. I mean, honestly, L.A., Big Laker country here, but I think Dodgers is a little bit bigger. Uh, 
But yeah, at the end of the day, if, if fans decide to leave early for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. Right? They already paid for the ticket, so they can leave whenever the hell they want. Wincore. What's up, Eric? I mean, honestly, there's probably so many people, too, that are season ticket holders, Rex. I don't think they want to stay full-time every game from start to finish when they have a whole season's worth, you know? It's kind of like it's kind of like when you have a Disneyland annual pass. You're not going all the time and staying all day every day. You know what I mean? It's like there's going to be days where you just kind of want to go to the ballpark if you enjoy a few innings, get a, okay, get a couple beers, get a, enjoy some Dodger dogs, and then just go home. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what that has to do with any true fans. Wow. Matt Shaw Black. There we go. Greg, there you go, man. That is a hit right there. 30 out of 75. But I don't understand what that means by real fans, Rex. I mean, at the end of the day, I guarantee you, you watch the Audrey games, there's still at least, like, 25, 30,000 people there if it starts off uh, pretty much almost sold out. Which, again, there's some teams that can't even get 30,000 people in their stadium on an average. Then we got Grant Taylor, Chase Davis. Yeah. I don't think people realize it, though, Terry. Rex is trying to start shut up. He doesn't understand. The only, the only teams in L.A. that really don't ever show up to their games and really never sell out much, and even though the Rams have won recently, have been like the football teams here. Because honestly, I mean, they both weren't real true like L.A. teams. I mean, the Chargers did start off in L.A. for like one season, right? Rams here are from L.A., but, you know, they moved like, what, twice already? So those are the only ones really that I would say have a lot of real fake fans and... Don't really show up and show off for their team, especially Chargers. If you had to choose one or the other, man, Charger games are just ridiculous. Sparks, I mean, that's just because people hate on women's basketball, that's all. <laughs> But you definitely are always going to see stadiums packed for the Dodgers, for the Lakers, and even for the Kings hockey, honestly. Especially as the last, like, 10 years. Team games actually tend to get still pretty packed.
All right, here we go, guys. Next box. We got a purple Alfredo Duno to 250. We got Braden and Taylor. That's going to Tampa Bay. We got Key for Lord, seventy five. Nice gold, Alex Clemmy, gold wave. To 50. Uh, that is uh, Cleveland Guardians going to Matt Arnold. And we got a nice Cole Carrick. These were going for like 75 bucks last time I checked. Uh, Kupperman. Kupperman knows about that. I think he got some actually in previous figure teams. Bowmister. My Langford Refractor. Packs in this box were really backwards. Jack Wenningberg, uh, Wenninger to 75. Christian for the Guardians again. Napstick. All right, guys, here we go. Next stack here. Then we got a Rainer Rias transformative talent to 99. Cole Young to 499. 
We got Colt Emerson. Nelson Rada to Got a Cole Foster purple to two fifty. And we got a Andrew Pinkney. True blue. Joel Redfield. That's Jonah Cox. Zantanello for the Red Sox going to Adam. Alright guys, halfway through. So far, the Matt Shaw was one of the bigger ones, guys. Out of 75.
All right, guys, here we go. And we got a Lazardo Montes to 199. Antonello. Nice, Jacob Wilson, two fifty, purple. That's uh, Zach. Oh, we got a green grass of Isaiah Culpet. And a Cole Carrig, nice. Gold class of 2023 autograph. Nine out of 50, that's going to go to Coverman. Paul Skeens, nice box. Pittsburgh, David Lewis. And Jacob Gonzalez for the White Sox. White Sox is Tristan. Teddy McGraw. Noble Meyer Blue. Next box, guys, and then we'll have two left. And a speckle, Luke Schlager. Enrique Bradfield Jr.
Whole swing to Paula. Drew Jones, 99. Toronto blue to one fifty for the Dodgers. J.B. Shears, speckle autograph to 71 for the San Diego Padres, which is going to Joshua. little Tommy Troy refractor. Diamondbacks going to Triss. Jackson Merrill. And Saban Savales.
All right, guys, last two boxes here. All right, here we go, guys. Last two boxes. Blue Brooks Lee. Forrester. Tommy Troy. Paul Skeen's Refractor. Hey PJ, how you doing man? Hunter Holland. Wyatt. Yeah, man. I actually seen you had the Nationals here, man. I got a couple more boxes to try to get you a nice Brady, man. My goal, even though he's super tough, but 
Never know. Orange auto, that's right. That's, that's what I want to. I want an orange or a red. Candid. And we got for the Diamondbacks, Tommy Troy. Yeah, there's red autographs. He only signed 50 golds, 25 orange, 5 reds, and 1 super fractor. Jace Young. Um, refer to our break schedule, man. It's dropping right there every like 5 minutes with Nightbot, but we have a lunch break popping up. And then after that, I got a little one-box group break coming up after that. But we're about to do the next Bowman. We filtered it up as well, and we're giving away eight free spots in that, guys, which is a really good deal. Giving you guys a couple hundred dollars back in value to you guys in that filler. And uh, we'll sell out the last case we have there. Also, too, giving away five free spots in um, one of the mixers for the Mixer Madness. Tonight only. And then, of course, check out our Mixer Madness little crate. Holiday Mixer crate. Uh, features a sealed case of wax. That's an $1,800 value. Don't want to spoil it to see what it is. But then there's also a party you can get in there. That's well over the spot price. Some Ken Griffey Juniors, etc. Really nice stuff. Check out some of the preview cards in the item page of the crate. Remember, the worst hit is between $200 and $300 for $550. I know, PJ. Honestly, we were kind of bummed that it took so long, too. I mean, we did quite an amount of jumbo through all of our platforms. So I, I know people kind of buy everywhere, really. So, but yeah, here on YouTube, it kind of slowed down with the jumbo figure teams. We sold a ton of super right away, and we sold out of that right away pretty fast. And then, um, you know, did some, some super cases as well. But we're pretty much at the finish line now. Yeah, through Fanatics, IG, and all that stuff. I mean, we, we sold every, we sold a lot. Nice, Blake Mitchell. Kansas City Royals going to Tris. Yeah, I'm obviously Bowman too. Draft specifically Bowman, you know, it's kind of a different crowd too. So. Some people love it, some people hate it, but good return, guys, is what it's always going to say, and you guys will see it right away. Although these box prizes are crazy sometimes, there's so much value in some of these players that we'll never even hear of for the next few years. All right, one box left. Yeah, man. Reeves is doing really well right now. I mean, the box price for Jumbo has actually kind of gone up at about like 20, 30 bucks a box. You know, obviously, there's as long as there's still Brady's out there, because people will be tracking them. And, you know, obviously, some of the bigger super fractors that we haven't seen just yet, the price will go up. And, and like I said, the resale will go up as well, because it's still hot. But as soon as some of those really, really big cards get pulled, then that's when you'll see it kind of dip a little bit. But I don't think we've, I don't think there's been a lot of crazy super fractor one on ones of like the biggest players in this draft. So I feel like that's still the chase. And obviously, still some reds of Brady out there, some oranges, some gold, and all those other color parallels. Like the one on one super fractor Brady non auto is still probably out there <clears throat> amongst many colors. So, <clears throat> but it's just, it's, sometimes it'll slow down just a little bit. Just because obviously other releases are happening every week, right? So some people have to pick and choose. They don't have the luxury to continue to rip Bowman draft every week. 
<laughs> you know, they might have to cool it for a little bit. Yeah, that's the good thing. He has a massive number of, of nukes still out there for sure. AJ Ewing. Yeah, we have the we have the last case in the filler. Oh, I know 2022 draft for Holly, baby. I know. Although his auto is horrible, never tens really, rarely. And we got Zantanella. for Seattle. Colt Emerson. I think these are called mood rings, right? I forgot about that. Colton Ledbetter for the Rays. Going to uh, Terry last spot mojo. Cole Miller to 199. Max Anderson for the Tigers going to Joey. All right, two base autographs. There's got to be some color here, right? <laughs> and a Michael Carrico to 10. And these actually sell pretty well. These are tough to pull in that color. Back here should have an auto, and it looks like ooh, might be a Moon Rings autograph, or maybe not. Actually, maybe not. It's gonna be Paul Skeens refractor. Nice. Pittsburgh going to David Lewis to four ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, they don't look like they're going to go anywhere in the playoffs, though, PJ. They, they, have, they have a couple weeks to turn it around, but even then, man. Like, you know, they're 10-4. and four. Like, I should be still static, but just the way they've been playing lately, it just doesn't, doesn't seem like they're going to do much damage. But they got a few weeks to turn it around and get some confidence back in there on their side. Favorable schedule still. Still chance at the number two seed, at least. But, you know, honestly, the Eagles went through a crazy rough, rough, uh, rough patch, man. I mean, they they played the Dolphins, the Cowboys twice, the Chiefs, the Bills. I mean, shit. I mean, by the by the Cowboys and, and, 49, and the 49ers, obviously. I forgot about them. The, their defense just, like, dead tired, man. I mean, the Eagles had the, the hardest schedule in the NFL this year, and they still managed to go 10-4 and four so far. I mean, shit. I know. Week one, they almost lost to the Patriots. Honestly... There hasn't been one week this year as an Eagles fan that I've said that I haven't had the feeling that they were going to, like, for sure going to win. Like, it's been a very, very um, shaky season where every team is freaking getting their best. Like, they're getting, the Eagles are getting their best from every single team they played this year. But, man. <laughs> for real, right? Yeah. Especially on a big guy like me, man. Chill. All right, guys. But, yeah, no, hopefully they got a few weeks to turn it around. Get healthy, too. 
All right, so Moodering there, Ledbetter, Anderson, there's other curricular there, Big Ten, Schemes Refractor, Bush, Jonah Cox, Blake Mitchell autograph was nice, another Moodering there of Tommy Troy, Jacob Wilson color, Cole Carrick, which is a nice one there to 50, another Paul Schemes base, Gonzalez autograph base here, Tommy Troy, Savales, Pinkney Blue, Redfield, Santinello, Clemmy, Carrick autograph, Christian, this was probably the big one right here, guys. This was a black Matt Shaw, which was nice. Ahuna, Kafus, Ber uh, Vandenberg, Alderman, and Mayer. That was all a freaking uh, Miami box. Unfortunately, I know there's a handful of teams that went hit list with no autographs, but if you are in our last case, hopefully that filler gets done, guys. Um, you know, that we have one more chance to kind of make it up for some people. Obviously, there was a lot of teams that may have not hit an autograph but got a ton of color. So obviously we're going to top load all this for you guys. And obviously I'm kind of steving up some of the bigger prospects and bigger firsts. But uh, definitely still something. And of course everything ships, so you'll still get something. But appreciate it, guys. Uh, like I said, number 10 is in a filler, guys. We're giving away eight free spots back to you guys if it sells out tonight. And um, like I said, you do the math. That's a lot of money back to you guys just for buying in. It sells out the remaining teams in jumbo number 10. And we still have plenty of time to do that tonight, guys. Right now, I'm going to take a lunch break, and I'm going to come back and do a quick one-boxer, and that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm, I'm open to doing anything else after this, whether it's, you know, like I said, more of that Bowman, whether it's a Hit Crate, Five Star, another mixer here at 15, you know, whatever you guys want to do, guys. Also, I have the Cup Hockey. I would love to do one of these. I did a couple boxes yesterday. Great, great stuff. Pulled that patch yesterday. It was wild. Although, I'm not a big Ducks guy. I'm a Kings guy. But appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.